sleep out and milk a flaming cow. I couldn't find the tea bags. Yeah, that's because you never look. No, it's because they were in the fridge. It's us. Well, we can't carry on like this, Gemma. You were in and out of bed all night. Well, I can't just leave them crying, can I? Well, I don't know. You don't give them chance to settle, do you? That's because they'd wake up the whole house. You need your sleep with all the hours you're working. And so does Joseph. Who's that at this time in the morning? Oh, it's one of the mums from Baby Group. Baby choir's on today at the community centre. Great, that's all I need. I've been listening to one all night. Might be good for him. Yeah. I can hardly see a bunch of four-month-olds belting out I dreamed a flaming dream. You sing to them. I know. Maybe it's not such a good idea. I've heard you sing before. I, I have got a good voice. Our music teacher used to say that I could hit notes that he didn't even know existed. <sighs> I just don't know if it's worth dragging them all the way there. So drag them back. It's not like Alan's going to appreciate it, is it? All oh, right, so now we're excluding him from stuff, are we? I never said that, did I? All right, keep your wig on, I'm coming! Uh, this is all my own, I'll have you know. Right, come on, then. Get the kettle on. Hey, I bet that bathroom's like a new pin. I did my best. Of course you did, my sweet. Ta-da! What's all this in here, <laughs> Life. Our life. Mm. Together. Sometimes... You have to celebrate the here and now because you never know what tomorrow's going to bring. No. <laughs> hey, wash your hands first. You've just had your arm jammed up a you, Ben. Oh, yes. You are singing happy birthday twice over in your head, like I told you, aren't you? Yes, of course, I always do. Good. Thanks for breakfast. My pleasure. Now, get it down your neck while it's hot. Take the weight off. You must be shattered after last night. Last night? There's merchant sailors in a forced ten done less tossing than you, thanks to your granddaughter. No. I... I was just thinking about what you said about moving to Cyprus. Thinking as in considering? I'm just trying to imagine it. Listen, I've got enough imagination for both of us. And just the man to help me paint the picture the ump himself. May I have this dance, please? <laughs> What about breakfast? Oh, twice around the microwave, it'll be right as night buns. Come on. All right. Oh, dear. Oh, life could be one long dance. We could skip this miserable old country and start over in the sun. Hmm. Villa with a pool, stones throw from the beach, an orangery with actual oranges in it. That would be something. It would. And you can throw open the curtains in the morning, and look at the med, not that god-awful cladding across the road. It's what you deserve. Well, I, I... I don't know about that. Hey, I've told you a million times, don't put yourself down. This country is no place for old folk in the winter. You wouldn't need a drink to keep out the cold, that's for sure. It's just the thought of uprooting and leaving everyone. Omelettes and eggshells, my darling. Omelettes? And action. I fell in love with you. The last wall should last forever. It's all over. It'd be great, this. Living here permanently. Feels like me and you's going to the next level. Eh? Well, unless you're having second thoughts. No. No, it makes sense for you to move in. I've just got a lot on my mind. Well, I should try not to think about it. How can I not? Every time I see them together, the signs are there. My grand can't even open her mouth without looking to him first. Maybe you're just seeing what you want to see. As if I'd want to see that. Ryan, he locked her in a box. He's stealing her I'm money. I'm sorry. I didn't... I had stuff thing to say. No, I'm sorry. I just... I'm angry at myself, not you. I went too far yesterday. No, hey, look. You had a right to say how you felt. The only person that can do anything about it is Yasmin. Yeah, but what if she doesn't? I'll never forgive myself hey, if anything hey. happens to her. <sighs> but how would we manage? What, you don't think I've done my sums? I'm not suggesting that. 
I wish you'd trust me a bit more. I do trust you. I just can't see how we'd live. Property is as cheap as chips in Cyprus. We sell up here, we'll be quids in. We could even afford a housekeeper so you could put your feet up. You really think so? Look, we'll have a longer life and a better life out there. It does sound tempting. Then give in. There's nothing keeping us here. Alia. I know. Me and her don't always see eye to eye, but maybe distance will lend a bit of enchantment. <laughs> yeah, we could get a place with a guest bedroom and she'll never have to pay for holiday accommodation ever again. She'll thank us. Come on, please, Yasmin, please say yes. All right. <laughs> That's my girl! Oh. <laughs> right. I'm going to crack straight on with my research while you get this kitchen cleaned up. <laughs> oh, you should have got me up! <laughs> you was well gone. Oh, it was only that banging of the door that woke me. Oh, Nan took the dog out. He's really? He's not very well. Mm. He looked half dead, to be honest with you. She's hoping a bit of fresh air is going to sort him out, but I said she's going to have to take him to the vet. Well, that won't come cheap. What else has she got to spend her money on? If anything happens to that dog, she'd be heartbroken. No, I was when Monica died. What did you do with the body? Well, well, she was cremated. Have you still got the ashes? No, I scattered them on the red wreck. Oh, you and every other dog walk around here. Honestly, you can't walk ten yards on there without stepping in an Alsatian or a golden retriever. Fierce? What's on it? It's true. And when it rains, it's like porridge. Those lads playing football, I pity. Every time they fall over, they must get a mouthful of Jack Russell. That's what Monica would have wanted. Well, I doubt she would have given it that much thought, Ty. Can we get Cerberus stuffed if he dies? You see? No whist, no bingo, no carpet bowls. I might just sign up for Zumba. Care to join me? Oh, doubt that would be my thing. Oh, darling, I think you'd look really sweet in a headband of lycra. See, the Electric Society are doing a series of talks on 20th century fiction. Do you think they might do something on Jackie Collins? Yeah, I wouldn't have thought so, no. Pity. She's enlivened many a dull winter's evening for me. Yeah, we're <laughs> meeting tonight. I might pop in. Oh. Well, I'll probably be uh, washing my hair or... Revisiting the stud. <laughs> Hi. Ah. I'm Felicity. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Claudia, and Hello. this is my partner, Ken. You're Ken. Yes. Charles mentioned you. What did he say? Nothing, just that you were moving in. Uh, we've just been checking out the activities. Ken's really looking forward to the Literary Society, aren't we, darling? Yes, it might be quite diverting. A bit of a hitch there, I'm afraid. Roger had a fall playing Yahtzee. Yahtzee? Well, it's very competitive. They're keeping him in hospital overnight so he can't give the talk. Oh. Well, maybe Ken could step in. What? He's a writer. Are you? Oh, I think that might be overstating things. He's had a series of very well-received stories in the Gazette. Well, that would be ideal, Ken, if you wouldn't mind. Get us out of a bind. Well, if you give me a little more notice, maybe, but I don't have time to prepare anything. You could read some of your work and we can discuss it afterwards. We're only going to talk about James Joyce. This will be much more fun. Well, that's settled then. We shall see you later. Splendid. I'll spread the word. <sighs> what? I'll do. Do you really want me to answer that? Just trying to be civil. Try being civil to my gran. She's no complaints. I know what you've been up to. Up to? I've been going through the books. Someone's been making unauthorised withdrawals. And you're accusing me? Well, you're the only other person with access to that money. The only money I've taken out of that account's been for the new menus. There's over a thousand pounds missing. And you didn't spend that on those menus. Printers aren't cheap. Well, those ones were. The paper was practically see-through, and they were riddled with spelling mistakes. Oh, yeah, and the uh, petty cash is like, too. Oh, don't look at me. Maybe your boyfriend's treated himself. I don't know. How dare you? Look, I haven't got time for a slanging match. I've not taken any money on this line, even if you were right, which you're not. You won't have much longer to worry about it. What's that supposed to mean? You work it out. 
I'll get my lunch at Roy's. Thanks, mate. Tell I love the fruit pancake. Didn't you? Yeah, I owe you one. You can buy us a beer sometime. You're on. Got me amping. Yeah, I live for them. Beautiful. Hey, who's your brother getting on? Uh, well, he's had better weeks, but, you know, he's made a strong stuff. No, so. But tell him if he ever needs to talk about anything. And... Will do. Um, and, again, sorry about my dad the other day. Forget it. It's a stressful time for you all. See you. See you. I've been thinking about our holidays. Holidays? You're lucky to make real with the money I'm on. We need to rent out that third bedroom before we go anywhere. Well, not necessarily. Mum called and she wants to meet you. She wants to meet me? Why? Well, I'll talk about you a lot. Anyway, she's offered to pay for flights to Australia at Christmas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh? Is that all you've got to say? Well, well I mean, she, she offered to pay for you a while back, but you said no. Yeah, because I wanted to spend my first Christmas with my dad. Yeah, but if Australia was all that, then you wouldn't have moved back here when your mum emigrated. So you're going to write off an entire continent based on my say-so? <clears throat> Can we speak about this later? Look, I, I need to impress Ed on this job, and I, I don't want to be late back from dinner, yeah? Right, I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Thanks for lunch and the money. No worries. I can't have my little princess toddling around with holes in her shoes, can you? Enjoy seeing you. Uh, I hope so. Uh, wondering maybe we could um, try and make things a bit more formal. Formal? Well, access-wise. You know, I, I drop anything, any time to see her, but sometimes it's not so easy. Maybe if we had more of a routine. Yeah, maybe. Well, I, I don't want to push my luck. Uh, it's important you're cool with it. Maybe we could go for a drink and talk about it. I could drop Jenna off with my folks. We could go to the beach. No maybe. way. What, I mean, what have I done now? I'm not going down that road with you. I don't want to go through a drink with you. I've told you that. I, ju I just want to talk about Tiana. Oh. Grace, please. It wasn't me. You do know that, right? Of course I do. OK. Jeff took the money, all right? But he said I wouldn't have much longer to worry about it. He's full of it. Mm. Hiya. Have you got a reservation? Sort of. I'm Peter Stones from Bertram Moffat. A valuer? I'm here on behalf of your co-owner, Mr Metcalf. He wants me to put a price on the business. No, I told him I'm not selling. Well, that's not an issue, Miss... Nazir. Miss Nazir. According to my instruction, it's Mr Metcalf and his wife that are selling their shares. Were you not aware of that? We're boycotting fresh gold. Ah, that explains why there's no scran in the house. Well, I'm going to go to the shop after I've been to baby choir. The corner shop? No wonder you're skint. It's the only place I know where you can get a tin of beans and pay for it over five years. We don't need your charity. I don't even know what you're doing here. I thought you moved away. You can't get chips and gravy in Bristol. And I couldn't crash at our Sheila's anymore. I thought she only had a bed set. And seven cats, two nights on her sofa. I was coughing up fur balls. So I up sticks again, rented a room in Manchester. So what are you doing here? You called me. Remember? I just was at a loose end, wanted to chat. I didn't ask you to come round. You didn't have to. I've known you since the minute you first opened your eyes. I know when something's wrong. Everything is fine. I'm glad you stopped by. I was troubled by what you said yesterday. That was the intention. Is he in? Jeff? No. But you need to stop this vendetta. He is a good man. He didn't take the money. He used it for the menus. He told me. He does not deserve this. Did you know this... he's planning on selling your share of Speedo? Yes. Yes, I did. Are you going to mention it to me? I do own half of that business. I am family. Yes, I was going to call you tonight. Why are you doing it? We're doing all right. It's a good little business. Yes, and it will continue to be so, I'm sure. 
But Jeff and I are moving away. What? There are too many bad memories here. What happened to your father, with your grandfather? I need a fresh start. When? Where? Cyprus. As soon as we can make the arrangements. You're emigrating. It's not the other side of the world. This was his idea, wasn't it? We both agreed. But Jeff came up with it. I'm right, aren't I? Yes, but we both talked it through. And he convinced you because he wants to separate you from the people that care about you so that you're on your own and helpless and at his mercy. You are being absurd now. Jeff loves me. Oh, Gran. That is what abusers tell their victims. I am not a victim. You're not standing where I am. Are you sort of worn a sports jacket and chinos? No, I not want anything too formal. I don't want this to feel didactic. Well, I've no idea what that means, but I still don't understand how you benefit from looking like a latter-day Valdunican. Rather a lot of chairs. Huh? There should be a rocking chair on stage looking at you. Oh, you weren't interested. I wasn't until you were topping the bill. There should be a bumper turnout. I've given it the hard sell. We don't have many real live authors pass through. Francis, meet Claudia. Hello. And our very own writer in residence, Ken. Pleased to meet you. Hi. I'm very much looking forward to your talk. I once heard Lionel Shriver give a reading in Hong Kong. Any good, was he? Yeah, is she? So, what were you doing in Hong Kong? Francis was ambassador. <laughs> How many times? I only ever made consul. Uh, so you never got to hand out the posh chocks at your reception? No. No, I didn't, I'm afraid. So where were you based? Guangzhou. My Cantonese was always better than my Mandarin. Well, go on then, give us a blast. No, na nam sikle, tan hai go tak le ho fana. And what does that mean? Charmed to make your acquaintance, or thereabouts. Likewise. So, what do you write about? Well, mainly. I... No, no spoilers. We shall find out in good time. We'll start in twenty minutes. Fine. Nice. Pleased to meet you, Francis. You too. I look forward to your talk. Say la, mo yong chu. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You've got a home crowd here, so knock them dead, kiddo. Yeah, perhaps not the best advice for a retirement community. Exclusive gated community, that day. Okay, um, wish me luck. Yeah. Just channel your inner Jackie Collins. You're gonna need to take your hands to that. Why, Cerberus, still rough? Well, I'm no expert, but he may touch his food. Can't say I blame him. I mean, it looks and it tastes like gravel. How do you know? Oh, well, you know, the other night when me and Kev had a few beers? Yeah. Well, when you went to bed, things got a bit weird. I mean, it seemed funny I at the time, but. Oh. I was not bearing up anyway. Not great, you know. I think she's going to need your support, Ty. I've said to hope not to mention having him stuffed like. Well, probably best. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so he guesses to where you're headed? Yeah, yeah, I was going to meet my uh, mum and Kev for a quick drink. Oh, great. I'll just slip home, get changed, and see you in there. Well, there's no need. I'll be back in a bit. It's all right. It won't take long. And we can talk about Australia. <laughs> but I thought we weren't going. Oh, we said we'd discuss it. My mum will be really upset if I blow her out again. We can at least look into it. All right, fine. All right, well, you go up and get the laptop set up and that, and uh, I'll be home in a bit, yeah? What time? Well, I can't say exactly. OK. Yeah? You won't be too long, will you? <laughs> yeah, well, the sooner I get my pint, the sooner I'll drink it, yeah? All right? This was success by any measure, and certainly his own. But the sound of polite dinner party chat was drowned by the rasp of his grandmother's washboard and the laundry house chatter, by the scream of the factory hooter and the clack of a thousand hobnail boots on cobbles. Because for all his fevered striving, 
His lifelong odyssey had taken him precisely nowhere. But he had learned one thing. Place is not a question of latitude or longitude. It is a state of mind. I'm sure we all enjoyed those passages from Ken's work and had plenty of questions. I'll start the ball rolling, shall I? Where do you get your ideas? Oh, from the only place one can. The world around us. I mean, as an author, life is like a running buffet. So, uh, occasionally you do have to take something from someone else's plate. <laughs> <laughs> Fascinating. Any other questions? Yeah, I've got one. Could you speak up, please? And could somebody get the lights? Uh, I, like I said, I've got a question. You say you've been writing all your life. Uh, how many books have you had published, only you, you didn't say? Look, Jeff has been nothing but a support to me from day one. That's not true. I don't recognize you anymore. He's ground you down. And I'm refusing to let that happen for a minute longer. What are you doing? Well, if he takes you abroad with no one to protect you... I do not need protecting! Oh, I think you do. And do you know what? Once you're away from him, you'll see that. Stop. No, please, stop! Stop! I just stop! No, Stop Graham. it! Look, you'll thank me for this one day! No! What's I'm... this? Off to Cyprus without me? Coronation Street continues in half an hour.